morning. I know that I do not look particularly lovely, but this is what I look like when I wake up. I haven't even showered yet. I'm gonna hop in the shower right after I eat breakfast. And breakfast today is scrambled eggs and a homemade tortilla from H-E-B, our grocery store. And while I'm eating breakfast, I was perusing my latest copy of Better Homes and Gardens. And I really love this desk setup, but I wanna, I wanna look at something with you guys. I want you to see how frustrating this is. Okay, this is a lovely desk setup. And I have a small area for my desk, so this looks really nice, except you start looking. And do you see what's missing? Maybe not, so I will tell you what's missing. What's missing is any sort of cords. Like, where is that lamp plugged in? Where is the laptop plugged in? It just, that's the stuff that just makes me crazy. It's like, they show you these great ideas, but they're really not feasible. I want to see what someone's bedside table looks like that actually has an alarm clock and lamps plugged in. And you look in these beautiful architectural spreads, these beautiful home interior design spreads, and none of the bedrooms have alarm clocks. So these people not, do they just wake up naturally with a rooster crowing? Um, even if they use their iPhones, where are they plugging it in? It just makes me crazy. I don't know why I'm going on this rant, but I want to see photo layouts of realistic, absolutely duplicable, duplicable, absolutely, where I could duplicate the same look in my own house, including cords and outlets and so forth. So anyway, if anyone knows of a publication that does that, let me know. I mean, even the, even the, you know, blogs and websites, do they do the same thing? It's, it's not realistic. I want to see somebody's real house and how they did it. So anyway, if anyone knows of any blogs like that, let me know. I would love to look at ideas. I'm going to eat breakfast now. I know I look crazy. Uh, my makeup is done and huh, I don't, what did I use? I'm really liking the Guerlain Lingerie de Peau. It's a little yellow for me, but it makes me look tan, I think. I think it looks really good on camera, but that is of course my opinion. And then um, I think the trick to why I look, well I look insane right now, we'll get to that in a minute, but why I've, I think I've been looking more tan than normal is I've been using my Hourglass palette and I've been using the one right here. This one all over, or the other side, either one on either side, all over my face with a big fluffy brush. Um, but it, it makes me look tan, but I, it blends with the rest of my body. It doesn't look like, I don't, I don't know, maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I do look like I have a separate head from my body. Anyway, I've just quickly, I washed my hair, obviously, and uh, I sprayed all over with this. I'm really enjoying this. And then it's um it's it's a lot like it's a 10. It's the Aveda Brilliant Damage Control and it has you know multiple functions. It's a detangler, it has UV protectant, which is gonna be great for the summer here. It has um it protects from thermal damage, um, you know, all that stuff. And then I made a cocktail of my smooth infusion naturally straight with my I put everything away my Smooth Infusion Style Prep Smoother. This is a lot of product. And then on the roots up here, I put in, I, don't, I need a new bottle, I'm just about out. It's the Pure Abundance Style Prep. And then I just roughly blew my hair dry. It's about 70 to 80% dry. And I just mostly did it upside down and then kind of like went like this, right side up. And now I'm gonna go back with my Boar Bristle Brush and smooth this sucker out. And then it'll probably still take yet another step to truly smooth it. This is why I hate washing my hair. And if I cut it, it would still be a disaster. It would still be a lot of hair. So I'll be back in a minute. And I'm gonna blow it dry section by section and then you'll see the end result. I forgot to tell you about the rest of my makeup. Um, on my eyes, I don't know if they still make this, but if they do, I love this stuff. It's the number 17 Wild Metallic Eyes. I don't know if this will zoom in. It wants to zoom in on my head. <laughs> and it's in the shade Wild Nude. And then I did that all the way up to just about my socket line. I know the lighting in here is terrible. It's a bathroom, what do you expect? And then I used the Bare Minerals, um, and I think it's called Get Ahead. If I can open this one-handed, I will try. Yes, it's the one, the shimmery one on this side. And I just did that all the way up into the crease. Mascara, some blush, um, incandescent, no, what is it? It's the Hourglass Luminous.
Artemis Flush, more of a brighter pink. I just felt like going for it. It's the one, not the purpley one, but the one on the other side over there. And I just have some lip balm on. It has a slight pink tint. Actually, no, that is not, yes it is, it's Posy Balm. It's a little sample I got at the VIB sale. Okay, now I'm gonna start making sense of this mess. I shall be back. Okay, so all, I don't know why that piece is not blending with the rest of it, but all bone dry. I haven't done anything else to it except add in a few drops and make a little, another cocktail, one or two drops of the dry remedy. Got to work on the settings on this thing. I don't know why it doesn't focus on little things. And then a little squirt of the light elements. I like this stuff. Smooth fluid lotion. Smoothing fluid lotion. I like that. And um, I probably will go back in a little later with a flat iron just around kind of the edges of my hairline. Like right here I get these little wispy pieces. But I do something to make this connect with this. I need a haircut. Not for length, I just need some shaping. And possibly some dry shampoo, just for volume. But look at this, all I have to do is this, and whoa, volume. Of course, now I look like a homeless person. Oh, or a crazy person. So, I'm gonna stop playing with my hair now and get on with my day, which means editing yesterday's vlog, which is really, really, really late. I'm in the boys' department at Dillard's, and we are shopping for kid two, the littler one who's not little, he's taller than me now and I hate it. But this is his favorite place in the world. Oops, sorry about that. This is what he wants. Polo, polo, polo. So we'll see, looking around. He's very into this now. He would wear that outfit, I think, if he could get away with it in San Antonio. He's pretty funny. Y'all know how I feel about Best Buy. However, when you have two teenage boys who pretty much love all things electronic, kind of limited on where to shop for them for the holidays. So, against my better judgment, that's where we're going. To be fair though, this was the Best Buy that I ended up returning the camera I didn't like and they could not have been nicer inside. So, while the people on the 1-800 number were not particularly helpful, the people here at the Best Buy at the Ram in San Antonio were very nice. So in we go. All right, last stop is CVS, where when in doubt, you can just get um, gift cards. So that's what we're looking at. Not saying we're getting them, but that's what we're looking at. So I am in the car. We just got back from doing all the Hanukkah shopping and <sighs> My son has ridden his bike to, it's not too far away, a Whataburger opened, not too terribly far away from our house. So sort of a halfway point between his friend's houses and our house. So they frequently meet there. So he rode his bike there and then proceeded to ride his bike back to his friend's house. And I texted him to ask him when he was coming home. And his reply was, whenever it is that you come and pick me up. So <laughs> I am on my way to pick the child up and he and his friend are gonna help maneuver that thing into my car. And uh, then the big plan for the evening is we are ordering a pizza. Not just any pizza. We are ordering a Chicago style deep dish pizza from the only, dude, I'm not racing you in your Camaro. Get over yourself. This guy totally was like revving his engine at me. Okay, yay. I'm, I hope you feel good about yourself. Uh, anyway best place in San Antonio to get a Chicago style deep dish pizza with the sauce the right way and the crust the right way is called it's called Trilogy which is also in my area so I have a coupon for buy one pizza get one free and that is the big plan for tonight we're just staying in maybe we're gonna play some games we'll see but it's the weekend before finals so mostly it's just spent um, studying in the house. Well, not me. And there's another friend in the car next to me. She's probably thinking I've lost my mind. Um, <laughs> small town I live in. My little area in San Antonio is a small little, small little village, really. Saturday afternoon at our house. Football. And our pretty lights. And an itchy dog. 
And some feet. Some big feet, boy. Hold that, which is the perfection of the Chicago style deep dish pizza. Oh. Oh. Do you hear the angels singing? I think I hear angels. Anyone? Okay, I'm gonna go dig in and uh, enjoy the rest of my evening. I hope y'all enjoying the rest of yours, and I will see you tomorrow. Yeah. I'm dropping it. There's so many lights, the camera doesn't know how to focus.